I was also working a corporate job, you know, 40 hours a week, a nice salaried position. But I decided that I didn't want to work behind a computer for the rest of my life. So I moved to Los Angeles and now I scoop ice cream for a living. Okay, you was in an eight year relationship. That means you was in there at 22. You ain't know what the hell you was doing. Okay, cool. Here's my question. She's learning herself. So that decision for her to leave the relationship if she was not happy, okay, fine. We, yeah. I mean, you can masturbate and learn it. Here's the question, CJ. Here's the question. <laughs> what the hell is so passionate about scooping some damn ice cream that you could go to the supermarket and get every day? Right. We, we moved to a new office. Nice. Oh, okay. So, you know, you know, I went down there and... Um, Change is always good. Always good, man. I love it, man. I mean... The, the newness yeah a little fresh air fresh yeah, start okay. newness you know what i mean i love seeing new people white some, people some, some, some oh. motivation. i love seeing new white people especially on the elevator they'd be like now, what is this black guy doing here hey uh, excuse me you're supposed to take the maintenance elevator oh my gosh stop <laughs> it i'm gonna plead the fifth on the grounds that i will not incriminate myself under the constitution of the united states hey there buddy you're supposed to take the maintenance elevator you ain't supposed to be on this elevator not during Black History Month, sir. <laughs> Unless you want to oh, smack man. Let's get my clicker, man. I got this thing here started, man. Let's get to the first video, y'all. Let's go. And the very first video of the evening. We got a 30-year-old woman says that she left her boyfriend. Oh, God. To move back in with the parents and scoop ice cream after eight years. So let me rephrase that because that's giving, mm -hmm. that's giving bum. <laughs> we got a 30 year old woman says she left her boyfriend to move in with her parents and scoop ice cream. Bum, bum, that's what bum, I'm about bum, to go do. You know, you need to stop. Good luck. <laughs> it's this jump podcast. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> now Hello, let's go. I'm JC. I'm 30 years old and I too am starting over. I was in an eight year long relationship where we had a house, okay. a dog, a white picket fence, but. I decided that I didn't want to get married and have kids, so I left that relationship and Shut moved back up. in with my parents. She did all I was that. also working Why? a corporate job, she ain't moving you know, back 40 in with hours me. a week, a nice salaried position, but I decided that I didn't want to work behind a computer for the rest of my life. So I moved to Los Angeles, and now I scoop ice cream for a living. I'm also mm. pursuing social media on the side, uh, but I'm a 30-year-old ice cream yeah. scooper. I got questions. I've had failed relationships. I no, struggle with she my should be having a goddamn because questions. Because I work a minimum wage job, and it does get yeah. lonely sometimes, especially feeling like you're behind in life, seeing your friends get married, you have are kids, behind. and progressing in their careers. But I personally have never felt more fulfilled than by starting over because I get to wake up and feel passionate about what I do every single day. Day. Okay. Can I, can I, yeah. You know, so, you know, how are you passionate about yeah. scooping ice cream? Hold on now. Hold on. Let's, well, let's, give, how, one, you let's know, give one of God's creatures some grace. Okay. okay. You said you had questions. We're going to let bro. Let, 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 First let, of let's all, let's your question, bro. Number one, I'm mad that her name is the, the reverse of mine. Her name was JC. I'm CJ. <laughs> I just, I'm mad that her name is. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So, here's my question. That's your sister? Hell no. <laughs> And even if she was, I wouldn't. I would definitely disown her. That's number one. Number two. Okay, you was in an eight-year relationship. That means you was in there at twenty-two. You ain't know what the hell you was doing. Okay, cool. Here's my question. She's learning herself. So that decision for her to leave the relationship if she was not happy. Okay, fine. We, yeah. I mean, you can masturbate and learn it. Here's the question, CJ. Here's the question. <laughs> what the hell is so passionate? about scooping some damn ice cream that you could go to the supermarket and get every day. Right. Why did you have to move the... She's at Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Los Angeles. LA from wherever she was at. First of all, to, to first of all, I met her parents that they allowed her to move back in their house because she would not be in my house. Part where I give her the grace because if... It, I never want my kids to feel like they can't follow their passions. So this, that's why what my question is is what is so passionate what is so about... Because again, maybe she might be the ice... She might be making her own... Ice cream. So no, nah, I don't think so, man. I think her ad social media on the side. That's what I'm okay. saying. So ice cream doing social media, and she ain't making no bread right now. So oh my god, is is, is she Gen Z? She might be on the cusp here because I believe that Gen Z think that social media their ticket to oh my god, you know, stardom. Mm. You know, if you're going to pursue social media, you definitely should have a job as your number one. Social media should be something that that you just want to do passionately. To, Unless she's going to create some kind of marketing company. Now, yeah, then that's something totally different. But like if the job was providing her a stable income, 
where she could live that she could live off of instead of living with her parents right. she was in an eight-year relationship that one man. i can pass on okay if, if the relationship is not fulfilling for you that's okay for her to move on to something else it's okay for her to leave the relationship but that the, shows the, her the right her... picket fence but also at the man, same time that's consistency man, but no, it shows that she was she's young. erratic y'all both wrong she, she the girl is erratic i'm being too nice we gonna no. call it what it is black history mom that's white privilege <laughs> her white privilege ass <laughs> to leave a salary job and i can go home and scoop ice cream that's white privilege get up out my damn face with that uh, okay because I mean, there's no reason Shanique, Shanique could never do that okay no. Shanique mm -hmm. could never le leave her job making 25 dollars an hour to go scoop some goddamn ice cream white privilege is black. now i want to hear that say right now if my daughter come to me talking about your dad. I, I quit my job. Well, I don't know you where you're going to live. You think mama should not live, but they can right. be in my. I'm gonna let Shaniqua back in. You done quit this damn government job. <laughs> mm -mm. Scoop some ice cream that I got in the freezer that's freezer burnt. Girl, you better get out of my damn face. Nah, nah, I'm going to tell you. I'm a <laughs> white privilege. I believe that she regret her mistakes that she made and she getting up on this internet acting like life is good exactly Ooh. acting like life is good I first that, of all why, that, that's why all do happen. everybody have to turn to social media and that's what these young people like, do the because the they point? turn to the internet because mental health what is kind of validation is she going to get because mental health is, is something that we don't country these people this is that, that social media if you ever watch the social media experiment on netflix you can see it is it's an addiction like crack like alcohol like vagina it's all an addiction <laughs> that's another episode <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, that people be addicted to that dopamine of, oh, I it, can put it, this it on is, here. It is a dopamine. And as we can sit here and see how many people are tuning in and, and, and sending messages the same way we can see that, they can see that, too. So they like, ooh, I done got 300 people to look at me and say some, and comment you on know, some yeah. wild stuff. And now, look, I'm, I'm famous. So that's what it that's what it be. It just, it's, it's weird. Nobody cares about your ice cream scooping. She, and the thing about it is you could tell that. It obviously ain't that great of a thing because she ain't tell us what it was. She ain't say, yeah, because I scoop ice cream. Because exactly. she could have told us, so you know what? Come see me. Right. Come support Jason. my ice cream scoop. Yep. Yeah, come come get this ice cream. I'm, I'm doing social <laughs> media on the side. This is my page. I'm going to tell you right now, in about two months from now, she could be talking about, yeah, I need you to scoop this ice cream on OnlyFans. I need to get you up. I need to subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm scooping this ice cream on yeah. OnlyFans. She going to have that cherry on top. Scoop. Just look me up. Well, I don't know about no dag on social media rehab. These people, it's just like everybody just loves the, the attention. Listen, I don't think man. that it's going to go away now these days, especially now that life has evolved down these days around social media. Everything is mm -hmm, social media mm -hmm. now. My man Uber in the building. Ooh, what's up, man? Yeah, I mean, what's up? Ooh, let me, let me pop this. Can I pop it out? There we go. There we go. Can you still see the chat? Not really. I see it on here. Oh, see it? Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, I mean, what's good, who? How you making out, broski? Yeah, they, they, I, I, I believe that too. Social media rehab. Somebody about to start that in LA, and they are gonna make a killing. Oh, right. are you serious? I'm, I, I believe it. Like, Ubu, go ahead. You go do it now before they do it. Right. You the one that yeah, just Ubu. said it. Right, <laughs> right. Man, we looking for at least hey. like five to ten yes. percent, man. Straight negotiable. Yep. This your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think.